Hey YouTube, this is Archangel for Truth. And my recording for you today pertains to biblical teaching. Now, I know some of you out there may not believe in Scripture. And that is your right to not believe that. But ultimately, I be absolutely believe in Scripture. I believe it is the Word of God and that it is the guide which all men should be um, ultimately utilizing to establish what is truth, what is the law, and what is right, right or wrong. And so, with that being said, I have a little bit of illustration here, pertaining to scrambled eggs and Legos. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I love scrambled eggs. I think it's the best thing you could possibly have for breakfast. Um, and so they're, they're something that I really enjoy. And so I want, with this illustration, I want you to think about, if you're someone who likes scrambled eggs, great. This will really be something that you'll be able to grasp what I'm trying to get at here. So let's say you go to a restaurant let's say a Denny's or a Hi IHOP or some other uh, restaurant that's focused in on making breakfasts. Okay, so you order the scrambled eggs. You expect to get scrambled eggs, right? And so you're eating your scrambled eggs that you ordered and all of a sudden while you're eating the scrambled eggs and you bite down and there's this hard foreign object in your scrambled eggs and you're like what the heck is this now think about that think about just your your reaction to that at that very second what are you going to do well most of us are going to you know spit out what egg we have in our mouth with the foreign object makes sense to me right I'm sure it does to you. Because you've detected that there's something there that doesn't belong. So, the reason why I'm making this illustration is because a lot of churches nowadays, a lot of pastors nowadays, are adding things to the Word of God that just doesn't belong. And so, someone that is really about Scripture, really about um, not painting that or, or misrepresenting Scripture, they're going to see ad additions being made by pastors or churches or denominations as like that foreign object, you know, they're going to have a reaction to things that are not supposed to be there, especially if Scripture clearly says, clearly says, this is not something that God wants. So, that's why I came with this illustration of the eggs and hard Legos. I mean, <laughs> let's, let's face it, you bite up down a, on a hard Lego, you may end up... Uh, busting in a tooth or something. But um, the contrast is, is clearly there. And so, I was raised myself in a uh, certain um, Christian denomination that ultimately is uh, a cult in their beliefs and Many of the things that they teach, I don't agree with nowadays, because I know better. You know, that's what Jesus says. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Well, what I observe today, though, is there are so many individual believers out there that really have not gotten into the depth 
of digging into the Word of God that really have yet to experience the Holy Spirit and its enlightenment in uh, causing uh, understanding of what Scripture is really revealing to us. And so what they do is they just go to church and ultimately they just accept whatever's coming over the pulpit. It's almost like they're eating those scrambled eggs with the Legos and they don't, they can't, they don't know the difference. They don't see the difference. But for someone who has biblical understanding, who understands biblical interpretation, you know, from a perspective of having the gift of the Holy Spirit, well, whenever pastors or churches or denominations do throw in things in there that clearly do not belong, um, the reaction is one of to, to spew it out, to reject it. And that is the reaction I have whenever I um, deal with biblical teaching that is just completely off the wall. Or, uh, let me rephrase it, not necessarily just off the wall, but uh, teaching that is more about appeasing sin and not being in agreement with the revealed will of God through his word, but rather would question the individual saying that they're hateful or um, just being judgmental or so forth. And so, you know, that's, that's my reaction. That is my reaction when I come across pastors and even individuals that I know. It's like, how can you possibly believe that this is what God wants if when Scripture says this is not what he wants? You know, it's like that reaction, as I mentioned. So, you know, let's say, you know, this restaurant that you've gone to, okay, you know, this was a, a one-time mistake. They didn't, something must have happened or, you know, some strange event for a, a Lego to end up in, in your scrambled eggs, right? You know, especially it, it being a, a place you really like to go to, out to eat or, or something like that. So you might say, okay, well, you know what, this happened this time. We'll just not make a, a, an issue out of it and try to go on, you know. But say you go back in a week or so and you order your same favorite breakfast with scrambled eggs and it happens again. Now, now you're like, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why... Why is this continuing to happen, knowing this isn't right? So, you might call the attention to the manager and, and you know, try to get down to the bottom of what's, why are Legos ending up in your scrambled eggs? <laughs> you know, something that doesn't belong there. Hello? Um, and so... Ultimately, you try you try to address the issue in a calm and you know rational way that uh, you know you you, you don't want to make a, a, a an issue out of it, but you you're clearly going to be upset over the situation, since that this isn't the first time it's happened. Well. You know, again, as as I'm applying this illustration, I'm applying it to going to church and or hearing the gospel from a church or, or a pastor or a denomination that is not ad ad 
hearing or um, adding things to the Word of God that just doesn't belong there. And so, eventually, you may just decide, you know what, this restaurant, they're messing up my favorite meal. You may just decide, you know what, it's time to move on. It's time to go to a different restaurant that can get the scrambled eggs right without adding things that don't belong there. And so that is my message, you know, and I, I hope that um, this is something that will be received. You know, I believe the Word of God to be absolute, and I think any church and, or any pastor or any denomination should see that as well and not try to add things that are not there or try to um, appease a worldly view or to adopt a worldly view into things that Scripture clearly says this is not okay. So, with that, I am going to end this recording at this point. But before I do, I wish all of you the best, and and I pray that things are going well for each and every one that should hear this message. So, take care, and God bless.